The musical interpretation of a painting also considers sign, symbolic elements, and their relationships within the surface space of the painting with its texture, with the chromatic zones, which arise from a motivation aimed at externalizing, revealing the unconscious dynamics and of consciousness both conflicting and harmonious with each other. Pythagoras stated, the geometry of forms is solidified music. Kandinsky, who indicated a way of exploratory observation of the work of art, placing us in a new relationship with the work of art, wrote, the form is therefore the expression of the internal content. The point symbolically represents the genesis, the beginning, the birth, the origin, the universal principle, the essence, the unity, generator of two opposing forces, predominantly concentric and eccentric based on its shape, size and colour, represents vital potential, balance, stability but also the end of everything. Many points close together in the space of the painting create a thickening, a concentration, while a few points in the same space cause thinning the refaction. Sequential points of equal size form a path, a point-like path and communicate the sensation of calm, order and stability, while points of different sizes and colours scattered throughout the space of the painting represent unstable dynamics of movement and tension. Moving points draw a line. In the works of the Swiss teacher, poet, writer, theorist, violinist, but above all avant-garde painter Klee, the expressive value of lines and geometric figures emerges with their thicknesses, paths, directions, and movements in space. The Dutch painter Mondrian indicated the symbolic meaning of the relationship between vertical and horizontal lines as an expression of two contrasting forces inserted in space. The objective characteristics of the lines, which generate a subjective objective expressive value can be identified as directional typological element, the horizontal line that evokes quiet, calm, continuity, essentiality, inflexibility, staticity and order while the vertical line produces the sensation of momentum, growth, spiritual ascent or fall. The oblique and diagonal line, union of horizontal and vertical, like the association between a cold and warm color, activates a sensation of mobility, dynamism, tension, and instability. The curved or wavy line that evokes softness, elasticity, sweetness, freedom, fluidity, harmony, and protective sense. The broken, spiral, jagged line, harshness, vibration, dynamism, and energy. Texture element. The line with one degree hasher of thickness. Kandinsky wrote, It is well known what a musical line is. For the most part, musical instruments are linear in character. The height of the sound of the different instruments corresponds to the width of the line. A very thin line is created by the violin, the flute and the piccolo. A slightly thicker line by the viola and the clarinet and it comes with the bass instruments and increasingly wider lines up to the deeper sounds of the double bass and the different intensities from pianissimo to fortissimo can find their expression in the greater or lesser sharpness of the line or in its degree of brightness. The shapes, Edison wrote, the square symbolizes static matter, the triangle which radiates in all directions symbolizes thought the circle, then, the eternal motion of the spirit. The square is a symbol of the earth, of stability, of solidity, of firmness, of rootedness, of numerical perfection, of materiality, of anti-dynamism, of rationality, of concreteness, of realism, of justice, of authority, of justice, of essentiality, of the created universe, of the manifestation of the divine. The triangle, associated with the number three, with the symbolic differentiations with respect to the typology, for example. Isosceles, scalene and equilateral triangle, which absolutely represents proportion, universal, harmony, divine perfection. Therefore, the triangle has ambivalent characteristics in relation to the downward or upward disposition of its vertex. In all cultural traditions since ancient times, 
Predominantly, it is a symbol of harmony, authority, projection, creativity, manifestation, illumination of thought, of spiritual life aimed at the relationship between the sphere of the divine and the human with the consequent ascent of the being towards the universal transcendent. In Christian religious culture, the triangle symbolically evokes the Holy Trinity. The circle is a symbol of stillness, of cyclicality, of perfection, of completeness, of immutability, of union, of totality, of infinity, of soul, of universality, and of constant dynamism between earth and sky, between day and night, between light and darkness. The expressiveness of colors can be reinvigorated or weakened by the shapes that surround them. Warm colors are reinforced if placed in quadrangular shapes, for example, red in a square, Intense and lively colors intensify this character within acute shapes, for example yellow, in a triangle. Intimate and deep colors are more in harmony with round shapes blue, for example, in a circle. Phonetic studies and analyzes the linguistic communicative expressiveness of the production and perception of sounds. The expressiveness of the phones or vowel sounds and phones or consonant sounds are generated by the height of the sounds themselves in relation to the personal vocal extension by their acoustic intensity or volume and by their timbre or quality. The human vocal apparatus can produce high and low sounds, clean, defined, thin, pungent, explosive, sweet, hard, penetrating, clear, strong, vigorous, intense, refined, hysterical, transparent, magnetic, deaf, voiceless, excited, aspirated, shrill, clear, spirited, melancholy, whispered, hoarse, soft, nasal, cavernous, pasty, vigorous, penetrating, weak, velvety, sweet, ethereal, enveloping, delicate, wavering, trembling, rough, warm, decisive, dry, blown, visceral, sharp, impetuous, enveloping, powerful, velvety, pungent, subtle, croaking, dark, aggressive, harsh, cold, persuasive, sibilant, ringing, light, scratchy, angular, static, dark, blown, vibrant with an interpretation of shapes and colors. The primitive human being experienced the relationship with sounds in a sphere of mystery, magical and incomprehensible, but with the awareness that sound was endowed with cosmic energy and that each individual could express himself through a personal timbral sound. The sound value of internal emotional resonance of the word freed from the function of correspondence and subordination to the name of an object is correlated to the color as both are endowed with resonance independent internal emotion just as from experimental results the relational and proportional correspondence between light bright colors and high-pitched sounds between dark colors and low frequency sounds has been demonstrated just as light bright colors are associated with the high-pitched sounds of the vowels a and i while the dark colors are associated with low sounds of the vowels O and U.